hey y'all welcome back to my channel um in today's video i'm just gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup look with my four or five little items and um i already started so let's get right into it i'm starting with 45 color um from maybelline fit me matte or just maybelline fit me um i got this color thinking that it was my correct shade but it ended up being too a little bit too dark but i think it matches perfectly honestly um and I just applied this first because I had a little bit of dark circles from giving birth, having a baby, and the stress that I guess from that, or the no sleep from that. So I just put that on under my eyes and anywhere that I think it needs to be concealed. And I don't do it everywhere because I just want this to be like a natural look um, or a no makeup makeup look, I guess you can say. And then I go in next with 25 is like my highlight or uh, something that I want to highlight underneath my eyes. And I actually blend in and match my skin tone because of the 45 being so tan on my skin. And so I just do the same thing with this one underneath my eyes and over my eyelids to kind of match and a little bit over my cheekbones also. I'm um, just to help to even out my skin tone and to highlight it a little bit. So this is 25 from Maybelline Fit Me um, line. And then I match that with the what I want to highlight in the middle of my forehead, the middle of my eyebrows. I do the same thing there. Um, yep, and so that's it for that. And then next I move on to um, the blush. I have this by Wet n Wild and I'm honestly running out. I need to buy a whole new one. But that's okay I'll use it up until it's gone and I just apply this to my cheeks my cheekbones and my eyelids so you'll see me do this I'm applying first and I do everything here with my hands um, I don't have, really have any appliances like uh, utensils makeup brushes sponges or anything I do everything here with my hands and so that's what you're gonna be seeing throughout this entire video except when it's not <laughs> And so I just apply this to my cheekbones and move upward, up my cheeks, up my cheekbone area. And then, this is so easy, like, and then I apply it to my eyes also as like a little uh, powder on my eyes. I just apply it there. Um, just to give my face some color because you don't want to look dead, you want to look alive. snap my head back like that because I thought I saw he had fallen but he had just hidden his head thank goodness he was all right but he didn't start crying <laughs> but yeah I'm all finished with that and then I move on to eyeliner and I think this is my absolute favorite eyeliner ever so this eyeliner is the auto eyeliner by LA colors I don't even know why I said auto like that but yeah <laughs> and so now y'all see me I'm just doing the top um of my lid I used to do the bottom but I don't really do that anymore so I just stick with the top and sometimes I don't even go all the way over in this video I did this clip will show you that I did but sometimes I do halfway or the or go all the way yeah mm -hmm. I guess it just all depends on how I feel that day <laughs> And y'all see that um, I'm about to mess up here and then in another area. When I messed up, all I do is take my finger and like smudge it out, get rid of it, and then blend it back the, with the concealer and the blush that I used on top. So I don't really, I mean, it's not perfect, but <laughs> I saw you. It's not, hmm? It's not perfect, but yeah, I did the same thing on this side also. Like when I had, you see right here, I kind of like had a large smudge. And so I got rid of that and toned it down the same exact way. Um, but yeah, that's all for that too. And I'm going to keep saying that's all for that because that's what I got to say. 
And then next I'm going to move on to my eyebrows, which I really need to um shape those up again. I really need to shape these up again. Um, and I need to honestly trim this down <laughs> to, to um, file it down so I can get some more color from it. But what it does, it does well, so I'm not complaining yet. <laughs> I'll trim it down later on. And the last step is always, of course, lip gloss. Now, I don't really do this lip uh, cream stick that all the time, but it does give a pretty pink color, which I love. Um, so this for this video, I'm just doing the pretty pink. Usually, I do like a regular lip gloss, and that's all. But sometimes I like to do this pretty pink, and then I top it off with um, a shimmery gloss. This is just the one that I have with me now. And then that's basically all. Asadi is over here breathing on the camera, so I mean, and the um, phone, so y'all be able to hear him. <laughs> y'all be able to hear his breathing. I'm sorry. This is real ASMR right here. <laughs> and that's all for my look. I think Asadi wanted to get in the camera, but it's okay. He got in earlier. That's all for the look. And then I'm just showing you guys the finished look. I don't really want it to be perfect. I want it to still show my like uh, impurities, imperfections, things like that. I don't really want it to have like a like a full face beat. This is literally natural. Like, uh, it looks like I almost have no makeup on at all. I don't really like to do a whole lot. But that's the finished look, the final look. And y'all see my hair is it's doing its own thing again. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, as always, I'll see you all in the next one. And I always say that and go like, what, four or five months without <laughs> posting up a video or uploading anything. But that's life. Love you all. See you. <laughs>